Hello and welcome to the 26th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at input groups. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides plus the rows and columns that go with it. Well, Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create that awesome website. We will now take a look at input groups. An input group is essentially a means for the user to input data, like a text input. Like you get an input tag and you get a type text. Don't use select tags as they can't they cannot be fully stored in WebKit browsers. Don't use text area tags as their row elements will not be respected in some cases. So just use an input tag like we show you. So let's just go ahead and open up Bootstrap or open up our index.html in a text editor. Like many other things, Bootstrap helps simplify this and makes it really easy to implement. So let's just zoom in right here. All we're going to do is going to create a div. It's going to have a class, input group. All these classes are built in, so we don't need to be creating anything. In terms of styling, we're going to have a span. And the class for that is going to be input group. Add on this is really cool when you see it. And in here, you just literally put what you want you as your add-on. You may not know what that is for now, so I'm just going to put at and you'll see what it is. Now the next thing to do is just do your input. So it's going to be type text class equals form control placeholder equals username. And what we're going to do now, let's close off this tag actually. If we scroll down, actually, we need to just close off this div tag as well. Now, the last thing to do, or the next thing, I'm going to show you another input type or how, it, how you can make it look different in Bootstrap. So, it's going to copy and paste this. Most of it won't be changing. So, we've got input group and the input type, what we're going to do is put the span after the input and we've got text, we've got a class of form control, place order username, I'm happy with that but for this, actually no I'm going to get rid of the place order, I don't want a place order in this one and for the actual input group add-on, you don't need an input group add-on but let's just show you what they are and how cool they are, I'm going to put dot zero zero now it's going to do a break line, do one more input group to just demonstrate, let's copy this, to demonstrate the add-ons. And in here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a span class equals input group Add on, and now what we're going to do in here is going to put dollar. We're going to keep the dot zero zero at the end. So we are ready to run this bad boy now. It's all saved. Let's just double click on our index.html, and now we have our free input groups. As you can see, this is what the group add on is because the actual input itself, nothing special, it's cool because it resizes and so forth. But the actual really cool part is this, I mean this, so this little input group add-on, so this sort of just suggests it's got an at on there, some maybe it's to do with Twitter, and then this suggests it's some sort of maybe currency, and this definitely uh, says it's a currency, and maybe in the future what you could do is make this into a drop down so you could change the currency type, so maybe into pounds, euro, or whatever, and just leave this dot zero zero as it is, or maybe you just want whole numbers, or maybe you can modify that as well. So it's that simple. As an extra task, put these input groups into the columns, aka these right here. So you can see how they react when they're resized because everything bootstrap works really well with, with each other. Though we put it outside, it's just to so we can easily code it, but put it inside and see how it works. The next tutorial will cover input group sizing. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description or you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. 
All the required source code will also be in the description as well. To see hundreds of more videos like this one for free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.